What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2 and Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever. When this video goes live, it is Christmas Day. Um, for me, uh, I will be celebrating this. Um, I hope that uh, I hope everybody has a good day if you celebrate Christmas and stuff like that. I hope you got what you wanted today. Um, here's my video to you guys. There should be more than this video going up on this day. Uh, hopefully, uh, I should have like a little Christmas uh, video going up. Uh, so hopefully you guys have catch, uh, caught that. Um, it should have went up well before this video. Um, and everything like that. But anyway, uh, let's jump straight into this. What we're going to do in today's episode is uh, we're going to go do quite a bit. Wow, okay, yeah, so we've got like a few missions uh, over here in roads still. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to come down here, grab our horse, uh, then we're going to head over into um, Saint Denis. Uh, we're going to head over to the stable, um, go put this horse into the stable and everything, hopefully save it. We're going to go head up this mission here, um, and then maybe head up a mission or two over here as well while we're on. But anyway, that's what we're going to do, so we'll uh, we'll head here first. We'll go grab our horse, and then let's go from there. So it's really yep. just a, a sort of uh, like side mission episode today. It's going to be a chill day. Um, Hopefully you guys are having a good day so far anyway. Uh, I'm recording these uh, well in advance uh, as um, Christmas week's going to be a little bit hectic for me or the holiday week uh, or whatever you guys celebrate this time of year. If you don't celebrate anything, well, I hope you're just having a good day. <laughs> let's, uh, let's try and save this horse. If we can, that is. Yeah. And sorry about that. There, I kind of just hiccup there in the middle of that sentence. Ah, there we go. We've got level one bonding with this horse. That's all right. Hold on. I just want to stop for a second. I want to see what happens when we get off this horse. Like, does it actually indicate? Yeah. Okay. So does it indicate a horse? So what we're going to go do is we're going to go put our the horse into the stable, I do believe, or into uh, where, it's, where it's saved. But we're going to go put this one in, I think, as of now. I want to try out a different horse for a bit, so I want to try out this one for a little while and hopefully not kill it. Ah, it's just me. Come on, horse. Where you at, buddy? Here he is. That was easy enough. Uh, hopefully he doesn't get too uh, annoyed with us. Anyway, let's go over here. Right, he should follow us now. So if you didn't know our horse which we have got, um, uh, that horse is um, a pre-order horse, I do believe. Uh, I got that horse for pre-order in the game. I think. If I remember rightly. Come on. Come on. You bastards shoot someone oh. that can shoot back. Ah, please. Ah. Um, where's that eye? Let's go, girl. I'm just gonna go chase him down quickly. Ah, uh, no, they're going away. Get out of here. For more of them, show up. Alright, that's all we're going to say, are we? Okay, let's go over there and see what they've got then. Okay, I wonder the horse is still alive. We're all good. Okay. Easy. They shot one guy. I actually don't even know who they were. Hmm. 
they don't look like, yeah, they don't look like law enforcement. So, I guess we just saved somebody's life from yep. getting absolutely killed for yeah. no reason. Alright, let's go. Come on, horse. Get out with the horse to follow. Should be following. There we go. Okay, it doesn't look like he's following. I think I hear him coming, right? Yeah, there he is. Good boy, let's go. Yeah. Alright. Doesn't feel very uh, holiday-like, does it, where uh, it's not snowing or anything. Let's hopefully get to the stable. Can I squeeze through here? Of course I can. Here we are, Saint Denis. Hell's going on here? Damn roadblock. Okay, here we are at the stable. Ride this horse in. Okay. Hey, good looking horse there. He's a good looking horse. Okay, so we can sell it. If you ain't got papers, I can't give you much. I've been burned before. Let's have a look at the info. So, um, type it to workhorse. Um, right, what we're going to do is we're actually going to stable this one. Um, I actually want to have a look at the information on this one. Okay, so this is a racehorse. Um, okay, yeah, it's got a lot higher of a speed. It's, yeah, so we'll stick with this one, but what we'll do is we'll keep that as the one in the stable, I guess. Alright, can we upgrade? What can we upgrade? Equipment? Um. Good saddles is almost as important as a good horse. Okay, so we've got quite a bit of things to do with saddles and everything. I got one of them myself. Now what's the difference? Upgraded saddle bike. Uh, how much is it? Uh, it's got quite a good discount, I guess. Um, sure, why not? We'll buy it. Hey, it costs more for a reason. Uh, stirrups. Adding on to a saddle helps personalize it. Ah, so this is where we get some um, so ride drain and everything. Okay, so I think what we might do is we might actually just try and find the max one and buy that. Um. Yeah, I think we'll just go for like the most expensive one. It's only thirty-two dollars. We've nice. got enough money. You only live once, lest you're a cat. That's a nice addition on a saddle. Like, like this is really cosmetic by the looks of it. So always good to have one of those. That also looks cosmetic. <laughs> I got one of them myself. Yeah, the rest just all looks cosmetic, so, um, so let's have a look at appearance. Nice bit of grooming. People take notice. Actually looks really good. <laughs> I might give him a mohawk. Um, should we give him a mohawk? I think we should. It's only four dollars, so yeah, why not? 
Hold on, can we can we actually change other things in there? A few careful trims and this horse will look just fine. Oh yeah, we can like dye his hair. No, we'll leave it normal. Let's have a look at, uh, at his tail here. Some natural. Nice to give a little special grooming. Shorts. Braided. I uh, kind of just like the normal one. All right, there we go. So we've upgraded our horse here a little bit as well. What the hell is going on here? What's your quarrel? Um, our oh, horse is just going around in circles. Looks like there's a roadblock here. Right, okay, let's uh, let's go to a mission. Let's go do a mission. See what uh, see what our old love wants. Oh wow, our horse really takes off now. Watch out. So now our horse drain should be a hell of a lot less as well. So our horse shouldn't get as tired as quickly. Alright. As long as we don't get the roses after us, we're alright. Okay, I was supposed to turn left back here. Can you just have fun with our horse? Yeah. You all right there, boy? Okay. What's wrong with you? Nothing's wrong with me. What's wrong with you? Arthur! Arthur! Up here! You came! Yeah. I came. So, uh, what do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. <laughs> Nosy people. <laughs> Arthur. Hello, Mary. You came. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than 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 me. Than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code, but your code is—it's well, not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you, and Jamie joining a bunch of crazies, and hypocritical daddy with his drinking and whoring and gambling. Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you, begging me for help? Oh, Arthur, be kind to me. Please. I'm sorry. I am... I should have asked someone else. But... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. I, it all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Yeah. Come along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur. You know sarcasm is beneath you. <laughs> He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. No, oh, Arthur. 
I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But... I would now. Well... I don't know. <laughs> Alright, let's go. So what do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace, a man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Arthur. <laughs> he wasn't always this way. But... It has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever. Pawning things off left and right. Mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry come too from him? much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. This is the place. Hopefully we don't upset the stable owner since he's looking after our new horse. Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Fine. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. <laughs> Just don't make me kill the stair below in a place. You can't stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on a lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. I make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. Apology accepted. Oh, wait right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please, come home. You're tired, Daddy. Tired and I have no unwell. such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur. He's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. Come on, horse. Oh. Sorry, no mean to do that. I made a whistle for the horse. This way. Right, keep our distance. Okay, hopefully our horse will follow. He went around the corner. That he did. Yeah, he's still there. I see him. He's that drunk we can probably stand right behind him and he wouldn't even notice. <laughs> he just went between those crates. He's gonna spot us at some point, isn't he? Hey, he's not there. Here he is. He's gonna come here, nope. quick. Mind where you go. Mind where you go. Oh, hello. Do you think he saw us? I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! <laughs> I think he's also a little bit too drunk as well. He's heading across the road. You know, this is kind of fun. Shh. He'll hear you. You could have <laughs> cleaned yourself up a bit. I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. <laughs> he just went left down that alleyway. What's he doing? Let's go find out. Don't say I never show you a good time. I'm just <laughs> glad you're here. Let's 
true. We just show you a good time. Just saying. We're just trying to see what guns we got in our holsters. What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals, or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Yeah. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not a place to sell. Oh, it's like just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself you killed. You don't understand. Mother left it to me. You <laughs> sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You? <laughs> That's theft. Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt <laughs> anyone, Arthur. Yeah, uh, yeah. He'll probably kill someone. Oh, you like that. I'll try not to kill anybody. Hey, you, Ashton, hold her right there. Oh, it looks like I'm getting on my horse, friend here. Come on, let's go. Let's go, buddy. Hey, stop that coach. Come on, boy. Let's try not to kill anybody. You stop right now. I'm really not enjoying this horse. I want my horse. Oh, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna have to stop. Easy now. Come on, boy. Let's go. Let's go. Good boy. That was easy enough. Well, let me go. Nope. You're making a big mistake. Am I? Okay. Yeah. Hopefully, my horse heard that. This is insane. Looks like he did. Yeah, he did. Get out of there. All right, let's get out. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. It's just a brooch. I want that brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. Hey. I, are you having a laugh? Screw you. A uh, hundred? What do you take me for? Okay, okay. Uh, I'm a reasonable man. Let's say fifty. Fifty? Not good enough, Ashton. Okay, Jesus. Twenty-five dollars. That's my final offer. Should I rate him again? Yeah. Take the damn thing. You crazy Thank you. son of a bitch. You don't know <laughs> who you're messing with. Somebody yeah. yeah. I can't remember how much he actually originally bought it for, so.
we got it for nothing. <laughs> we didn't kill anybody at, at, at the end, really, did we? So we only hit them three times. Well, punched them twice, kicked them once. Where's your father? I don't know. You want me to go find him again? Not really. You want to take a walk? I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Yeah, uh, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. Hey. What are you doing now, right this moment? Why'd you ask? <laughs> well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Uh, head to the theater, perhaps. Uh. Sure, why not? Theater? Me? Sure, why not? <laughs> It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> Strangest I can handle. Well, it's the normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on it. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but... <laughs> you ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well... That's true. <laughs> so... Shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. <laughs> You're not a very nice woman, Mrs. <laughs> Lamb. Well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> it's sort nice. of beautiful in a gaudy and tasteless way. It's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Well, no, I didn't mean it like that. I'm sure. <clears throat> you silly man. Come on, let's go find our seats. I'm gonna go watch a theater movie thing. How about here on the right? Sure. After you. This is gonna be interesting. Going on a f <laughs> date. Nice. Um. I actually really want to watch this, so, uh... <laughs> and thank you for that thunderous applause. I am Aldridge T. Abington, the greatest assembler of entertainment since Nero himself. Do not doubt. As a child, when I walked the horse manure-covered streets of Saint-Denis, I never dreamed of the stir I would create so, in this locality. Just as a start or not. Are you of in a rush, the greatest Arthur? show ever assembled. <laughs> Prepare for the grandest excitement of your curiosity. Fire, snakes, and magic. I encourage any of you to dabble in all three if you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. For entertainment is a gift that will see you through the winter better than any packed larder or root cellar full of canned goods. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss Robin Koninsky! Can we cheer? Nope. Oh, nice. for joining us. Now let's talk a little bit about this place we all love called Saint Denis. Stirrups 
I wish we could kind of zoom in a little bit. That was actually really good. I actually really like that. Whoever's closing those curtains isn't very good at it. <laughs> I assure you, she can charm any beast, any beast at all, from cockroach to killer whale. <laughs> Your mother most likely told you not to play with fire or to spend time in the company of strange women. You are about to do both. <laughs> Miss Antoinette Sanserino. Yeah. Stop it. from the curtain. <laughs> I wish there was a way for us to zoom in and be able to watch this a little bit closer than we're watching it. I hope you guys can uh, see this alright. Should be able to, hopefully. Okay, she's starting to get boring now. Come on, breathe some fire or something. Like, come on. <laughs> I think I'm gonna heckle now. Clicked on the thumbstick there, sorry about that, guys. Wow. 
God, this is going on forever now. I'm actually really bored of her. Come on. Next. Set your backside on fire. <laughs> Set your backside on fire. I want to see the next act. I'm, I'm pretty sure there's one more act after this. Eh, hey, there we go. She's done. Thank God for that. What's up next? Oh, enchanting! Mesmerizing! She is truly one to bring home to mother. <laughs> it is said that there is a place in France where the naked ladies dance. I have been there. Prepare for the body braziers of the Petit Flaneur in Gay Paris! This is actually really good. It was actually really good. That's really good. <laughs> One of them went the wrong way. <laughs> that was really good. Is that the end of the show? Whoa, incredible! Aren't they lovely? Oh, those legs are a sight to behold. I am spent. <laughs> Each of my shows is truly incredulous, awe-inspiring, and I'm sure you enjoyed. Thank you. <laughs> we flounder through the morass of humanity with only bright moments like these before it all goes dim and snuffs out in silence. So thank you. What a lovely evening. Come back tomorrow. <laughs> Well, 
shall we? Yes. That was fun, Arthur. <laughs> it was. <laughs> well. All right. You better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but somehow very amusing. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> My life wasn't supposed to... Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? I can't lie to you. I'm a wanted man, Mary. If I... If anyone close to me, well, they're wanted to. And I can't have you wrapped up in there. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. Got some people I need to take care of. Once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur. If we're gonna run away anywhere, we'd need money. Soon I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will. Once I get some money, I had some, but then some fool got it trapped into a town that I can't go back to. It's another story. I'll write you. Yeah. Goodbye. That was a lot of fun. So, there we have it. That there was actually a really good mission. Uh, I actually thoroughly enjoyed that mission. Um, I hope you guys did too. Um, in the next one, we're going to be heading back to camp. Uh, it's been a longer episode. Uh, I hope you guys don't mind about that. Um, I had a longer episode to do uh, today. Uh, is that a horse on its way or not? Okay, you definitely heard that. Right, we'll just wait here for him. Hopefully he will run on over but uh yeah anyway what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna end this episode here guys uh if you have enjoyed this episode hit that like button if you did the like button's always right next door and if you haven't hit subscribe already hit subscribe it always helps the channel out helps the channel grow and all that good stuff and uh, i hope everybody has a good christmas i hope everybody got what they wanted and everything like that is our horse i uh, will quickly jump on them sound a bit wrong but anyway there we go um, <laughs> anyway, uh, I hope everybody has enjoyed themselves. Uh, if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. And uh, hopefully, um, everybody has a good Christmas. And uh, we're heading towards the new year now. And we will continue with our series here and uh, everything else. But anyway, guys, I will hopefully catch you guys all in the next one.